Hey there, folks, and I don't know who is going to drop on here tonight because um, I haven't advertised this live. I don't know whether that just I started a few seconds too quickly there. Yeah, hi, everybody. I don't know who's going to drop on here tonight because um, I didn't advertise this live. I have just made a decision um, to see how I felt and to see whether I had the motivation uh, to be able to deliver this live for you tonight. I'm a bit earlier than my normal time. So I was just going with the flow today um, and deciding to do quite a contentious subject, you know, um, taking into account what has actually recently happened. So where am I going to start? First things first, rules of this live, the dog is in the room with me, he is snoring. And whatever else noises you hear coming from the background is the dog. So accept that as the norm. Um, I am a bit windswept as usual today, there's nothing new there. And I want to start by just introducing myself to those of you that have not watched before, if there are any. And I'm Mandy. And if there's anybody watching, just give me a thumbs up if you can hear me all right, because I've had a bit of a mare this afternoon. I'm on the new MacBook Pro, which has proved very difficult to get Facebook Lives up on. And I'm still learning. So I've got the video on and hopefully I've got the audio on OK as well. Let's hope so. Um, and I am Mandy and I am a artist. I'm an author and I'm a creative genius. Hi, Leanne. Hello, wonderful one. Thanks for that. Uh, and I am a creative genius consultant and I help female entrepreneurs to launch or develop or grow and leverage their creative business and make more money. That's what I do. It's a real passion for me. I love seeing women succeed and, you know, it makes every single day worthwhile for me. In the last week, all good, thanks, Liam. Um, in the last week, I've been posting on my personal page and on my business pages what's been happening in my personal life. And for those of you that don't know, and I'm sure you do if you've been watching posts, but I know that not everybody, yes, I can hear you great, hun, thank you, Julie. Not everybody watches all the pages all the time. There's only a small percentage of people see your Facebook posts, particularly when you've got a lot of people on your pages. So I never assume that everybody's seen everything. So my husband, Gary, um, who is a wonderful man, was a wonderful man, um, my soulmate died last Wednesday. Um, after a month in the frame, and not of COVID, of um, other things. I'm not going to go into that. And what I wanted to talk to you tonight about was business, mindset, and death. And that might, some people might be quite shocked at that. I just want to put this out there. Um, A, to stop people creeping around and being frightened to speak to me, because honestly, Although it's only a week since Gary died, I am okay. And I want to talk to you about why I'm okay. Because it's really important to share that sort of knowledge and that sort of learning with other people because you never know when you're going to need it. Need it, And it works in life and it works in business. And the two are aligned. So business mindset and death. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I am really sick to death of the word mindset. Honestly, it's everywhere. And, and I want to get it crystal clear here. I talk about mindset a hell of a lot. I'm not a mindset coach specifically. I have six coaching qualifications in leadership, in life coaching, in LP, lots of different things. But I've decided and I've used the things that I know work with people. I don't follow any one modality or any one coaching system. I know what works. Um, and mindset ends up being a subject that a lot of people know and recognize. So I'm going to change the word mindset to Bob tonight. OK, so from now on, I'm going to when I refer to mindset, I'm going to call it Bob. And I want you to start tonight by thinking about how me changing the word mindset to Bob makes you feel. 
do you feel a bit confused? Do you think I'm a bit odd for doing that? Can you associate what I'm talking about with the word Bob the same way that you can associate with the word mindset? See, we give things labels in this world and we give things labels so that we recognize them. But when they're overused, they tend to lose their um, meaning and impact, I think. And there's a lot of things that do get overused on a regular basis. So I want to break things down. Um, and I'm, that's going to ping all night, honestly. I'm going to turn the sound down. Because um, my phone's just pinging all the time at the moment with messages. So you just have to bear with me on snoring dogs and pinging phones. So sorry about that. So what I want to talk about is how, how it feels when we experience death, the death of a loved one. Uh, I am sitting here tonight, not crying and wailing. I refuse to fit social norms on a normal basis. And I refuse to, to fit social norms right now. I absolutely adored my husband, absolutely adored him. However, I knew also that he was very ill. I knew we had a limited amount of time together. I knew that we'd probably exceeded that time together. When I met him, um, he told me about his condition and told me we might not have very long. And the fact that we had seven years is a real gift, an absolute gift. And I think, again, I'm going to talk about Bob here um, because how you think about anything is how you think about everything. So I want you to think about business right now. And we'll come back to death and to Bob in a minute. I want you to think about business. If you are in business at the moment, I want you to think about how it feels how it feels, how it really feels when your cash flow stops, how it feels when you've got bills piling up from suppliers um, and you can't pay them, how it feels when you're not finding leads and clients on a regular basis consistently enough to have a predictable income in your business. How does that feel? And really think about the feelings that you get. And it's very likely that you are going to feel physical and mental stress if that's happening to you in business right now or any time in your life. You're going to feel fear, fear of the inability to pay your bills, fear of your inability to support your family. You're going to feel anxiety. You're going to feel a lack of self-confidence, your self-belief will take a, a real dip. Um, you're going to feel sadness and you're going to feel a little bit empty and numb because your business is usually your baby. And when it's not performing, it's really difficult to take that on the chin. It's a hard thing to accept. And many people are in business and only just making a living. So when something like this virus hits and it has a major impact on everybody everywhere, it can be a time of real uncertainty. And that creates all of those feelings. So does death. When somebody dies, you have the exact same feelings. You feel empty. You feel numb. You feel a, a level of sadness, but you also feel fear of the unknown future without that loved one. You feel mental and physical stress and you feel anxiety. And all of those feelings are very similar to the feelings that you experience when your business is not performing, you haven't got the cash flow, you're not supporting your family. That's why I pulled the topic together tonight on business, Bob and death. Now, if you spend time working really, really hard on curating and creating a really positive Bob, this must be really irritating you now, 
and that's part of the message tonight is that not everything what it is what it seems if you work really hard every day on bob aka mindset for those of you that have just joined um then whatever crops up in your life you are able to deal with it whether that is the death of a loved one whether that's bankruptcy whether that's your business not performing whether that's a loved a partner or a spouse leaving you and the feelings that you get when when that happens because when you think about all those terrible things that happen you get the same sort of feeling that sick feeling in your gut the anxiety the stress the fear they're all the same but they are just thoughts and you have control over what you think and this is where bob or mindset can be something that serves you really well i could choose right now less than one week after my husband had died to be really 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 sad and crying and um miserable and unhappy but i choose to focus on the real positive thing so the wonderful times we had the generous gift of seven years that we had all of the funny things that he did that we did together me and the kids have talked about him a hell of a lot in the last week and we've picked out all of those wonderful things that he brought to our life he was like a light bringing all those wonderful things into our lives now I want you to think about your business the same way. How much do you love your business and the clients that you serve or the people that you serve? Do you love them like that? And do you get excited and do you have real good memories of your business that make you laugh, make you smile, that you can think back and say, yeah, that was a great time? Because by focusing on those really hugely positive things and anchoring your emotions to them because thoughts become things. And how you think about anything is how you think about everything. So if you anchor all of those positive thoughts and emotions to your loved one and they die, you can carry them on after they die. If you anchor them to your business, when things get tough, you call upon the positive things that were there when your business was doing great, that was there when your relationship was doing great, that was there when you were together, that was there when your business was performing really, really well. Sorry, I'm not seeing comments here at the minute, and it's because I've not scrolled down on this new live thing. That's what, do you know, lovely to see you all. There's a few people there tonight, absolutely fantastic. Um, so I want you to really think about something right now. Now, there are some people going to think I am a, um, a heartless cow for being on here talking about my husband. They're going to think that there's something wrong with me. Well, there's not something wrong with me. And if you think that, then you're not one of my people. End of story. Um, there's nothing wrong with me. I choose to live my life in a positive way. Hi, Aaron. I choose to live my life thinking positive things, focusing on the good stuff and anchoring everything I do, every action I take, every thought that comes into my head to something really, really positive. The amount of laughter in this house over the last week when we've spoken about my husband has been amazing. And yes, I'm, I'm sad every minute of every day because he's no longer here. But I'm also really happy that he's not in pain anymore, that he's not struggling to breathe anymore, that he's not struggling to get up the stairs anymore, that he doesn't have to come home and live in the garage because he can't walk up the stairs. You've got to really try and find the silver lining in every situation in order to be able to manage and curate a really positive Bob at all times because doing that will serve you throughout your life so let me talk about how i do that in business i have put a link in the comments to um, my 
current 21 day mindset program now if you don't work on mindset at all or bob should i call it if you don't work on your mindset at all at the minute it's almost like a tester program for you and it's half price at the minute at 97 pounds so if you don't work on your mindset at all then stick your toe in the water that's why i created the 21 day mindset program because it helps being where you are leslie you have to deal with things in your own way yep yeah absolutely leslie so i've just seen leslie's comment there she said being where you are you have to deal with things in your own way so does anyone else i think there's you know society has expectations of how you should be in grief and in do you know what my gary would not have wanted me to waste a single moment of my life being miserable he did not waste a single moment of his life being miserable in fact if you met him you would never have known there was anything wrong with him and he had a really strong mindset. He really did have a really strong mindset. And he decided to live every day. And now he's gone, I will live every day and I'll live every day in his memory, but I'll do it for me, not for him, because we only get one life. So if you're in business, why wouldn't you adopt the same attitude towards what it is you do? So. Going back to, as I said, if you if you want if you don't work on your mindset, then you know what you should do that program. It's half price. It's twenty one days, and it gets you into working on mindset. So here's what I do in my signature program, which is a, a whole different thing. But here's how I work with women. This is what I do. My signature program is a twelve month program. Thoughts lead to feelings and reflects in our behavior. It's part of my relationship model for supported living company. I won. Absolutely awesome. Just reading Aaron Lennon's comments there. Fantastic. Stay strong. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, I shouldn't be distracted by reading comments, but you can't help it when you're getting positive comments from people. So my signature program, this is how I help women. I want you to really understand this because a lot of people think because I talk about mindset an awful lot in, a, in everything I do, that it's what I do. I do way more than that. And I want you to really understand this. And this is why business, mindset and death are the title for this and how they are connected. So when a, a lady signs up to my 12 month signature program, she is committing to immerse herself in a journey because that journey starts with her. It starts with reconnecting to her thoughts and feelings, to emotions, to getting rid of baggage from the past, to overcoming limiting beliefs and all of these other jargon related things. I work on thought, I work on positivity and I work on you. So for the first six months, we work on you, really delving deep into how to create a really strong, robust inner working system that allows you to think about positive outcomes at all times. And I've probably covered this in other lives. My dad taught me not to come to him with the problem, but to come to him with a solution. And that trans that transferred into my life. Nothing that lands on my desk in front of me or in my life is ever a problem that can't be solved. Nobody comes to me with a problem and I don't go to myself with a problem. There is always a solution for everything. And mostly the solution is how you think, because thought becomes thought become things, things are the actions that you take. So if I want to buy my Scottish castle, um, I have to create the thought that creates the processes, that creates the business, that creates the income, that creates the actions to, to, to actually get to that goal. If I want a happy life, then I have to get up every day and do really positive things, no matter what happens. And that's where I think that we get too bogged down in the negative feelings that sit around things like death and an underperforming business. We get bogged down and trapped into almost like a void of negativity. And it's all in our heads. It's all about Bob. It's all, all in our heads. It's about how we think and how we problem solve. So this is how I work with women six months, the first six months of my program, program are all about 
building, putting foundation down, foundations down, building bricks and building this really, really strong, robust mindset that gets challenged, that gets pointed in the right direction by me as the coach, and that really starts to cement a permanent thinking pattern for life. And that's how I like to think about it, a permanent thinking pattern for life. And somebody said something today, it was a lovely friend of mine, because you already have this innate ability um, inside of you right now. Whoever you are, whatever you're doing, you're in business, you have the innate ability right now to be able to channel your thoughts into positivity, to ignore the negative things that are said around you or that you see around you or that you feel around you and to channel that into positive thinking that creates positive actions no matter what is happening. And it was um, Rosaria, one of my friends today said, it's been there all the time, I just needed to see it. And sometimes what it is that you need is to see yourself and your innate ability so that you can accept that that person is an absolutely awesome, amazing thing. It's already there. It's there within you right now. And I help you bring that out. In the second half of my signature program, I work on business strategy, but a business strategy that's bespoken tailored to you. It's not a one, one size fits all thing. Business is a feeling thing. Yes, you need a strategy. Yes, you need a marketing strategy. Yes, you need to know what you're doing. Yes, you need training on things. I deliver all of that. But above all else, what I teach you to do in 12 months is to trust yourself, to have absolute 100% confidence in the thoughts that pop into your head so that you can turn them into the actions that can change your life. So when somebody you love dearly dies, you can accept that it's a part of life. You can accept that there's one certain thing in this life and it's that we're all going to die. So no matter how many people around you that happens to, you still have a life and you have a duty to live it every single day. My husband taught me that. He taught me that thing. He taught me that it was my duty to live every day. And if I was given the gift of breath in the morning and able to get out of bed and do something that I needed to do something positive with that. He was the one that pushed me into doing this business that I truly love, working with women, being an artist, being an author, being a coach. He pushed me into that because he could see my innate ability. That's a wonderful gift. So the gifts that you already have are the gift of knowing. You already know the answers. You might have to find some technical stuff out, but you already know the answers. You already know that you've got the gift of life and that you should live every day. And many, many people say it on a regular basis, life is for living. How many people do it? How many people do it no matter what? How many people have the guts to go out there and say, I'm just gonna do what I want to do and I don't care what people think and I don't care what people say about me. I'm gonna do it my way and I'm gonna stick to my guns and I know it's right because it feels right in my gut. And that is power. And that's what I teach the ladies that work with me to, to generate that power within them because it, it really is, it's intoxicating, it's infectious. It infects all of those around you when you are constantly positive. Hi, Rachel. And when you are const when you find the ability to be completely and utterly fierce and powerful in everything that you do. And it does transmute to all areas of your life. Growing that strong mindset or growing strong Bob, as we said right from the start of this, let's call it Bob, because it doesn't matter what you call it. I don't care for terminology. I don't care for descriptive words that are used in the industry. And they're all over, mindset's overused, limiting beliefs is overused, they're all overused, but they're words that we understand and can associate with things. Hi, Debbie, thanks for your comment. Yeah, we're all okay. Um, we associate these labels with things, but do you know what? There is no label to describe me. 
and there is no label to describe you. You are entitled to live your life your way. You are entitled to run your business your way. And that's what I encourage other people to do, to find this confidence, this innate power, this fierceness, this ability to do anything, think anything and take action on it because you have it in you already. It's been there all the time. You just needed to see it. And I help you see it. I hold up the mirror and say, look, it's already there. When you put this into business and when you start to channel that sort of level of confidence and level of power into business, what happens is people come to you. You don't have to seek them out. People come to you. You have to be consistent. You have to be patient because it doesn't happen overnight. Because what happens is when people see you talking about stuff like this, they're like, oh, yeah, that she's reading that from a book um, or she's repeating something somebody else has said or she's talking a load of bullshit. She doesn't know what she's talking about. And that's fine. People are entitled to say that. However, if you show up consistently with the same message again and, and again and, and again and you're training people and you're offering really good value and giving them snippets of what they're likely to get when they work with you, then you don't ever have to look for clients because they come to you. And that's what I teach in my program. So having had what potentially I could describe as the saddest day of my life last week, and potentially the worst week of my life in the last week where I've had to organize a funeral for the man that I loved. Um, I have still been able to run my business and I'm sure any of my ladies that are on here, I know you're on here, Rachel can uh, confirm that, you know, I did a group call last night with my clients. Um, that I have done some work on my business. Why? Because I'm able to, so I do because I use this mindset in every single area of my life. And if you want to be that strong, sitting at home thinking about it isn't gonna get you there. If you want to be able to tackle things at that level, talking about it isn't gonna get you there. Taking action is gonna get you there. If your thoughts are telling you that you want change and you need change, listen to your thoughts, listen to your gut and take action. Now, it doesn't need to be with me. I'm not pitching here. It doesn't need to be me. I might irritate the hell out of you with what I say. My voice might irritate you. My scruffy hair might irritate you. The painting in the background might irritate you. All of it doesn't have to be with me. But if you're thinking about change, and you do nothing, then you are never gonna grow that really strong mindset that you want and need in order for you to be able to deal with anything that comes up in your life, whether that's business problems, whether that's life problems, or whether that's death. So that was my message today. I'm not gonna go on and on and on all night. I think you've got the message by now. And I am open even though I am organizing a funeral at the moment and I have two kids at home. I mean, believe it or not, my kids are out the back in the garden right now planting plants. And I can hear them laughing out there in the sunshine because I'm encouraging them to have a mindset just like their mums. Because why wouldn't I teach them how to really live life and be able to deal with the stuff that comes up? Because stuff's always going to come up. So if you're ready, if you are really ready for change and I don't irritate you, then why not give the 21 day mindset program a go and see how you get on? It's down from 197 to 97 pounds and the link is in the comments. If you're not interested in that, that's absolutely fine. Keep just watching people and taking the free content that's out there on Facebook. But do something with it. Do something with it. Don't just sit on it because you have the ability to shape your thoughts so that you can do absolutely anything that you choose to do. You're awesome. You're amazing. You're a powerhouse. You are full 
of this amazing, unique skill that nobody else has. Only you have it. You have something amazing. And I'm going to be exploring that further in next week's live because I'm going to be talking next week about business perception and business reality and the three types of people that I think they're out there in business at any one time, not just now, all the time, and how to decipher who's who. So I hope that's been of some use to you tonight. And it's a delight to be back on here. I missed one live last Tuesday night because of I was in the hospital at the Freeman. Um, it's not often that I leave. I, I miss out on um, delivering things to my audience because you are really important to me. Um, thank you for your comments, Debbie. That's lovely. And the reason I do this is because of you and because of me. I do it because of you because I believe everybody can be as strong-willed and have a mindset as strong as I have. I do believe that genuinely. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here at all. If I thought you were all right off, so I wouldn't bother spending my Tuesday nights talking to you now, would I? Um, that would be a bit of a waste of my time. That's the dog whining in the background. <laughs> Told you he was in here. He's just pitter pattering across the, uh, the the floor. So enjoy the sunshine. Enjoy lockdown. It's happened. There's nothing we can do about it. We're all in a difficult situation at the minute. And if you're worried about money, and if things are hard for you at the minute, and you are struggling a little bit and your business is struggling ask yourself this what are you doing to change what it is that you currently do how are you changing that what actions are you taking how are you structuring your thought process so that you can take different actions to get a different result because if you do what you've always done you're going to get what you always get think about that and change one thing, do one thing differently over the next few days. And if you can do one thing differently, you can do a hundred things differently. And I say this to my clients, if you can get one client, you can get a hundred clients. If you can sell one book, you can sell a thousand books. If you can sell one product, you can sell a million products. It's just about changing that one thing, doing that one thing that takes you on the path to making change happen all the time, because that's what thought does. Thoughts become things. And how you think can change your life. Good luck with that. And I will see you next week and have a wonderful week.